let's continue with our session today so we will tackle the different types of human tissue first epithelial connective next is muscular nervous and lastly the skeletal tissue so paano ba mag-aral ng uh, practicals natin para sa histology Igagayt ko naman kayo with regards dun sa ano bang possible na tanong, ano mga possible na answers na i-consider natin uh, during practical. So make sure lang na aaralin nyo yung tatlong ito. Yung uh, paano mag-classify ng mga uh, tissue uh, according to the uh, histological, histological characteristics, uh, function, and location of this uh, type of uh, histologic specimen. And as we go along, i-discuss natin mainly itong tatlong ito. So let's start with simple cuboidal epithelial tissue. Pwede rin natin isulat na simple cuboidal epithelium. Okay? Parehas lang naman yan. Parehas na ginagamit na term in different histology books. So, anong itsura niya under microscope? Ang cuboid means pantay yung uh, length and width ng bawat cell. So, dito halimbawa, dito sa bracketed uh, structure, halos pantay yung length and width ng um, cell. And ang um, madalas na mga follow-up question regarding dito sa mga sa practicals natin is function and location. So ano mga pwedeng answer ah uh, pwedeng i-consider as answers, no? For the function, pwedeng protection for the ducts. Ano ba yung mga ducts na yan? Ito yung mga daanan ng no? mga pwedeng hormones, no? And mga secretions. And also, transportation and absorption of filtered substances. Balikan natin yung structure ng simple cuboidal. Bakit ganito yung mga function niya? So, again, no, pantay yung width and length ng bawat cell. Kaya kahit pag dikit-dikitin mo sila, no, it parang it will, imagine nyo yung Lego pieces, no, it fits uh, every side of the cell. So, pwede siyang in circular, oblong, no? And, yun nga, uh, for the transportation and filtration, yung kanyang ability to um, to transport the substances, yun nga, uh, mas, mas maganda yung kanyang uh, tawag dito, yung binding between the cell. So, walang takas yung mga filtered substances natin. So, anong next na possible question? Anong mga pwedeng location ng ganitong mga type of tissue? So, again, pinag-usapan nga natin, di ba, the transportation of filtered substances. Ano ba yung or main organ natin for filtration? Di ba, yung ating kidneys. Ano ang meron sa kidneys? Meron tayong mga maliliit na tubules na uh, ang tinatawag natin sa kanila is the nephron system. Each nephron contains your PCT and DCT. Ano ang PCT? Proximal convoluted tubule and distal convoluted tubules, which both has both has a role, major role in uh, filtration of the blood para mag-create ng urine. Our next type of tissue is transitional epithelial tissue or transitional epithelium. Pwede na rin yun. So, for this type of tissue, anong main characteristic niya? Kung makikita nyo, iba-iba yung shape nila, right? Meron ditong flat, meron mga rounded, no? merong oblong. Kaya tinalawag na natin siya transitional, yung kanyang shape in transition. Depende kung ano ang magiging function niya. Okay? Uh, more, more common dito sa ating um, upper part, oh, yung pinaka-outermost layer ng transitional epithelium, dome-shaped cells sila. Or tinatawag natin umbrella-shaped cells. 
So, ano ang function and saan makikita ang mga transitional epithelium? Number one, no? pwede siyang gawing protective osmotic barrier. Ano ba yung may osmotic property? Na ano ba mga substances to? Mainly sa katawan natin, makikita natin yung high, highly um, hypoosmotic uh, property sa urine. Kaya may kita natin ang mga transitional epithelium sa urinary bladder, ureter, and renal pelvis. Bakit kailangan natin protection against this hypoosmotic um, fluid? Kasi nga, um, balik tayo dun sa ating biochemistry. Kapag hypoosmotic, it will um, burst the, um, cells, the surrounding cells na exposed dun sa environment environment na yun. Diba kapag hypoosmotic, papasok yung fluid papunta sa loob ng cell and it will swell and then eventually magbe-burst. So, delikado ang hypoosmotic environment. So, kailangan natin ng protection. Okay? So, balikan natin ulit yung mga dome shape or umbrella cells, no? Nandito yan sa may bandang taas or yung outermost layer ng transitional epithelium natin. So again, ito ay uh, ginagamit for protection for os hypoosmotic uh, fluid. And mga location yan yung mga nadaanan ng ihi, urinary bladder, ureter, and renal pelvis. Tapos, Again, no, para mas ano, mas kita dito the umbrella shape cells. So, probably memorize niyo na yung transitional epithelium by now. The next type of tissue is non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelial tissue or just epithelium. Non-keratinized, so may Wala tayong ma-appreciate na keratin filament sa taas. No? And ano ibig sabihin ng stratified back in your lecture? Stratified means multi-layer. No? Uh, in contrast with the simple layer na single, ano lang, single pile of cells lang, dito naman sa stratified, multiple layers tayo. Okay? And ano ang shape ng mga cells natin sa ano pa lang sa outermost layer pa lang may appreciate niyo na yung flat flattened uh, shape of cells so squamous yan and then we discuss for the function and location ang function niya mainly is to form moist and protective layer so sino yung mga parts of the body na kailangan ng mag-maintain ng moisture or pang, ang tinatawag natin lubrication. So, tandaan lang natin yung favorite ng mga boys daw. Okay? As mnemonics. Okay? Mouth, esophagus, vagina, and anal canal sometimes. Okay? So, yan yung parang ginagawa namin mnemonics as student. Para ma uh, maalala namin kung saan nakikita yung non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. Next naman tayo, keratinized stratified squamous epithelial tissue. Ang, ang keratin na sinasabi natin dito is itong nasa taas, yung filamentous or hair-like structure na nasa taas na to. Okay? Ano ang, ang importance nitong keratin na to? So, puta tayo sa function and location. Ang main function of the presence of the keratin in this type of tissue is to protect the organ against abrasion, bacterial invasion, and desiccation or yung dryness. Okay? And sino ba yung mga exposed sa mga ganitong type of stress? Ito yung skin, lips, palms, and soles. So, kailangan ng keratin kasi ito yung outermost um, tag dito, ito yung parang primary or yung uh, initial barrier natin against, yun nga, sa mga stresses such as mechanical stress, 
in abrasion, bacterial invasion, and desiccation. Okay, balikan natin si simple cuboidal. Review lang tayo, right? Simple siya kasi single layer cuboidal kasi pantay-pantay yung size of the cells. No? Yung width and length niya. Ano ulit ang function ng simple cuboidal epithelial tissue? Number one, protection, protection of the ducts and transportation and absorption of filtered substances. Saan makikita ang simple cuboidal epithelial tissue? Sa PCT and DCT. Ano ibig sabihin ng PCT and DCT? PCT stands for proximal convoluted tubule. DCT is for distal convo convoluted tubule. This, both tubules can be found in your kidneys as part of the nephron system. Okay, next, epithelial tissue tayo. Uh, ilang layers of cell? Is it simple or stratified? It is simple because of presence of a single layer only. And then, ano ang shape ng cell? Is it flat, cuboid, or rectangular? Flattened sila, right? So, simple squamous epithelium ito or simple squamous epithelial tissue. Ano ang madalas na ginagawa ng simple squamous epithelial tissue? Ito yung usually pinakamaraming uh, lining epithelium sa katawan ng tao because of numerous function. Number one, filtration, diffusion, transport, and secretion of um, substances inside the human body. And lastly, reduction of friction in some of the parts na kailangan na may expansion, most especially yung ating lungs. So, location natin. Saan makikita ang simple squamous epithelium? Number one, external surfaces of different organs sa lahat ng yan. Heart, lungs, kidneys. Lahat ng outer covering yan, it is made up of simple squamous epithelium tissue because of its function. No? Madami kasi siyang pwedeng gawin. And also, ito lang din ang makikita sa mga blood vessels natin. Okay? So again, balikan natin si simple squamous epithelial tissue. Ito yung out, ating outermost layer. Kahit magbalik-baliktad ang ating slide, no? hahanapin nyo pa rin yung ating um, outermost layer. No? So, ito yung ating outermost layer of this cut of organ. So, single pile. So, simple squamous epithelial tissue yan. Saan pa ang may simple squamous? Ma-appreciate nyo rin ito. Right? So, this is basically lungs, no? Ito yung ating mga air pockets or, or your alveoli. May kita nyo lahat ng yan sa lungs. So, again, what is its uh, main function? Ano yung mga lahat ng function ng simple squamous epithelial tissue? Filtration, diffusion, transportation, and secretion of your substances. Halimbawa, dito sa lungs, yung ating oxygen, no? exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Give one location. Ito, halimbawa, dito, lungs, external surfaces of lungs, and also your blood vessel. Okay, dito naman tayo. Um, um, Ilang layer of cell meron dito sa slide na to? Isa lang, so simple sila. Pero ano ang shape ng mga cell? So, ma-appreciate natin dito banda. Halimbawa dito, mas mahaba yung length uh, as compared to the width. No? Very rectangular in shape or oblong in shape. So, ano ang classification ng ating tissue present in this picture? 
It is simple columnar epithelial tissue. So, pag-usapan natin ang location and function of your simple columnar epithelial tissue. The function is, number one, secretes protective mucus and absorption of nutrients. So, balikan tayo, balik tayo sa number one, mucus. San madalas ginagamit ang mucus? Um, number one, for protection against bacterial invasion kasi very toxic yung laman ng mucus against the bacteria. And number two, it will serve as lubricant no? para madali, mab, mabilis yung galaw ng halimbawa food content no? along the um, digestive tract. And also, another one is for the absorption of the nutrients coming from the food intake. So, from the function uh, itself, saan madalas ngayon makikita yung simple columnar epithelial tissue? Sa gastrointestinal tract system. Lalo na lang na sa stomach, small and large intestine, and gallbladder. So, pwede mo yan lahat sagutin in the exam. Okay, review tayo ulit. Madami akong slides ng simple keboidal. Sorry, kasi mas madali siyang mahanap sa internet. Anyway, kinumpile ko lang naman to. Okay, mas maganda for repetition. Simple keboidal uh, epithelium ito dahil single layer and pantay-pantay yung um, size ng cells. Function, again, protection of your ducts transportation, and absorption of your filtered substances. Location, BCT and PCT. Okay, balikan natin si simple squamous epithelial tissue. Sa makikita yung layer na yun dito sa picture na to. So, ito yung bale. No? Kasi again, no? external surface siya ng mga iba't ibang organ. So, madalas mo makikita yung simple squamous epithelial tissue sa lining talaga, uh, covering ng um, organs. And again, what are what are its function? Dahil napakarami nun, uh, pwede kang mamili sa uh, and any of the following. Filtration, diffusion, transport, secretion of the substances, and reduction of friction, lalo na sa lungs. Location, again, external surfaces of organs, and blood vessels. Okay, next, uh, another new ano, um, type of tissue. Pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium with goblet cell. So, dapat kumpleto yan. Okay? Pseudostratified. Bakit kaya siya tinawag na pseudostratified? Pseudo means fake no? or false. Ibig sabihin, mukhang stratified lang pero simple layer pala siya. So, in this picture, mapapansin nyo yung mga nucleus, no? hindi pantay-pantay. Meron na sa baba, may na sa taas. So, akala mo, multiple layer of cells sila. Yung pala, isang layer lang yan. At hindi lang sila pantay-pantay in orientation. Kanawag na pseudostratified yan. Ciliated naman yan dahil may mga hair-like structure sa taas. No? Important ang cilia for what? For the uh, movement of uh, small particles away from the body. No? Kunyari, nakatouch ng dust, yan, uh, isisway nila or isisweep out nila, nila out of your body. And then, columnar, kasi kita naman ang shape, no? Halimbawa, itong uh, cell na to. Itong cell na to, uh, mas mahaba ang length kesa sa width niya. So, columnar sila. And then, for the goblet cells, appreciate nyo yung red arrow na to. Okay? Uh, ito yung mga walang kulay na cell. Bakit kaya sila hindi, makapa, hindi, hindi nakakapag-take ng stain? 
because goblet cells contain fats and fats resist staining uh, techniques. Okay? Dapat may special stain ka para ma-appreciate mo yung mga goblet cells. Pero under microscope in simple staining, ma-appreciate nyo sila as non-staining, globular, or itinatang natin light bulb shape. Mukha daw silang bumbilya ng ilaw. So, ano ngayon yung function and saan sila makikita? So, in our exam, no, fill in the blanks. So, kailangan talaga natin yan kompletuhin. No? Well, anyway, bibigyan ko naman kayo ng instruction before the exam. Okay? So, for the function, balik tayo dito. Function number one, to clean inspired air and transport the particulate matter catched by the cilia away from your body. Number two, special to, transport of oocytes and sperm cells. No? Um, kaya nakakapag-travel yung, halimbawa, yung egg cells natin from your ovary papunta sa fallopian tube. Yan, ay dahil sa cilia ng pseudostratified columnar ciliated epithelium. And then, for boys, no, it absorbs back the testicular fluid para hindi masyad or meron tayong normal value kasi ng uh, volume of the uh, semen. Kaya, na-maintain yon dahil dito sa ating epithelium. Okay, location naman based on this um, functions. So, ano ang pwedeng, saan pwede makita itong klaseng epithelium na to? Number one, sa ating, ano, uh, function, inspired air. So, daanan ng air. So, mga respiratory passages such as your trachea, bronchus, yung mga yan, meron yan, pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelial tissue. Fallopian tube, Different ducts, epididymis, bas difference in yung mga reproductive system natin, which contains etong ang type of tissue covering. Dahil dito sa specific na function niya. It helps to transport the egg cells and the sperm cells. Okay, balikan natin ulit si pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium with goblet cells. So, halimbawa dito, no, um, meron tayong mga, tawag dito, may mga uh, nucleus tayo na hindi pantay-pantay. So, akala natin multiple layer yan, pero single layer pala. So, pseudostratified. Asa yung cilia? Ito, yung mga hair-like structure na sa yellow arrow tayo. And yung goblet cells natin, ito, again, non-staining. Light bulb structures yung mga yan. And ano ang function ba ng mga goblet cells? This is to produce mucus. And ano naman ang mucus? Ito yung ginagamit pang laban against bacterial invasion because mucus contains a lot of lipid content. And again, yung lipids or fats is very toxic against bacteria. So again, what are the functions of your pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelial tissue with goblet cells? So number one, para sa um, filtration of the inspired air and transportation of the uh, particulate matter inhaled. No? And kung nasa reproductive tract yan, ang main, ang main function niya is to transport no oocytes and sperm cell and in boys to, it helps to absorb the testicular fluid so sa location pwede tayo sa respiratory passages such as your trachea and bronchus sa respiratory as uh, i mean sa reproductive system naman pwede yan sa vas deferens epididymis fallopian tubes in girls and ano pa the testes yung mga dinadaanan ng mga uh, sperm cell. Okay, balik tayo kay simple columnar epithelial tissue. So, nasan siya? Ito yan. No? 
outer covering. So, simple siya kasi single layer. Ma-appreciate nyo yung ating mga nucleus na pantay-pantay yung linya niya. Meron tayong special structure, yung ating goblet cells. Yan. Again, goblet cells, function niya is to produce mucus for number one, bacterial invasion. Kapag nasa gastrointestinal tract naman, ang mucus helps in the lubrication para smooth yung movement ng food content na inintake mo. Okay, so for review, what are the functions of your simple columnar epithelial tissue? Number one, to produce mucus, no? And then, uh, to absorb nutrients from the food um, intake. So, location, primarily, gastrointestinal tract, stomach, small and large intestine, and gallbladder. 